Hey guys, it's Tanil for the Sassy Scrapper Design Team and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble some very, very pretty clipboard mail uh, for my pen pal and I'm going to be using the beautiful brand new collection from Maggie Holmes called Marigold. So you guys will have seen a couple of weeks back I did an unboxing video showing you all the fun little um, elements in the Marigold collection and it's just so pretty. Um, <clears throat> I was very very dubious at first because I thought oh it looks like it's a heritage collection all over again but there's actually lots and lots of beautiful pops of pink and pastels in the collection and I fell in love with it when I opened it and realized the color palette absolutely meets my um, expectation is totally my cup of tea <clears throat> excuse me so um, what I decided to do was make a couple of projects using marigold and then I um, grabbed a beautiful pink clipboard that my friend Alicia at Love Letter Generation gave me as part of some happy mail months ago it's a gorgeous little magnetic clipboard that she purchased and made some happy mail for me and it's just uh, that beautiful pink coordinates so well with marigold so I decided to repurpose it and make some clipboard mail myself now all I've done um, is I uh, grabbed a piece of that beautiful note paper pattern paper uh, which is a 12 by 12 sheet from marigold I've cut it out to suit this clipboard I grabbed some beautiful pink sequins and mixed it up with some stars, some baby pinks, some little tiny circle um, sequins that are very, very shiny, like they're kind of like on an AB shine to it. So I made my own sequins mix and then I grabbed some of my glitter, silver glitter jewel and sewed it onto that piece of note paper pad then just use some double-sided sticky tape to stick that down onto the clipboard so it just just jazzes up that clipboard a bit and I really like how that turned out it's so fun and girly so Alicia bought this clipboard uh, at Typo which is like an Australian stationery store but if you ever come across a little clipboard like like similar to this grab one it can be any size you'd like you can find a smaller one or a larger one at your local stationery store and they are just so much fun to decorate so all I'm going to do is show you what I um all the little bits and pieces that I made and then we're just going to kind of um put it under that clip and you'll have like a binder mail of lots of fun things to give to your um to give to your pen pal so what I've done here is I also made my own little like dangly charms and what I used was that beautiful bee from the marigold chipboard I have one of these star charms from uh, all heart crepe paper all heart one of my favorite collections of all time and then I have a pom-pom charm and that beautiful fawn is also from marigold she is so pretty she's got a beautiful pink bow around her neck and look how pretty that pink is against the sequins and the clip part of the clipboard as well so pretty so I made my little dangly charm all I did was attach it to a um, connector ring and then like a little chain that I have in my stash as well I reused some of this beautiful ribbon that my friend um, Emma at Project Sparkle gave me as part of my ISO kit she just like had a cluster of ribbons that she um, gave me and that she sort of decorated her ISO kit with and I just repurposed it that little um, kind of cosgrain ribbon is from my own collection but everything else the sequins and the beautiful organza ribbon is from Emma okay so I'll put that aside for now and show you everything else that I'm going to be um, putting onto the clipboard so I have a marigold 12 by 12 cut apart sheet so that cut apart sheet um, has lots and lots of little sort of journaling spots that I've just cut out as you can see here so that's two cut aparts that I just decided to combine into one instead of splitting into two um, and I'll show you all the other pieces that are from that same cut apart sheet and I've just done something a little bit different and unique for each one of these pieces so here I grabbed this beautiful floral piece from the cardstock stickers did some pink stitching around it and then all I've done very simply there is attach a uh, chipboard flower so let me show you everything individually and then I'll put it together and onto the clipboard 
So this is another piece from the 12 by 12 cut apart. I just backed that onto some um, 300 GSM cardstock to make it nice and thick and punched a hole through it where that ring is. And that gorgeous banner sticker is so pretty. It's from the sticker sheet as well. Um, and all I've done here is sewed a little bit of this hot pink ribbon that I have in my collection and these two stickers, You Are My Happy, and the 24 7 365 those two stickers are from a gather no sorry it's from a chasing dreams sticker pack that i have in my collection as well and that beautiful pair is also from uh the marigold chipboards now um grab any statement stickers you have in your collection it doesn't have to be this chasing dreams one whatever statements you've collected over the years will work quite well on this project um, use whatever pink threading you've got i've just used this beautiful um, fluoro pink that just happens to coordinate with the pink in the marigold to stitch around that and don't do any stitching at all if you haven't got a stitch if you haven't got a sewing machine you don't want to do any stitching you don't have to i haven't done a lot of stitching here so that's um kept it quite minimal now this was a total accident so I had two cut aparts which is that one here and that cut apart as well both are from the same 12 by 12 cut apart sheet but what I didn't realize was I accidentally had them sandwiched together as I ran that through the sewing machine and I ended up having two <coughs> excuse me stuck together sewed together completely by accident but it actually turned out quite cute I've got like a little layered embellishment there so they were meant to be two separate like projects two separate cut aparts but I now end up having like an interesting two in one so all I did here was I have this beautiful um gold foiled vellum in my stash as well and I just sew that down with some of those same stickers that I showed you before from Chasing Dreams and that beautiful bumblebee is also from Marigold so a very simple straight stitch across the top and accidentally stuck down to this other embellishment which, which was just the notepad and the beautiful Joy J-O-Y with the florals on it also from Marigold the stickers are absolutely gorgeous in the Marigold collection. I think if you were to have, grab a hold of it, you will fall in love with the chipboards and the stickers. And I definitely have to pick up some more. Didn't do anything with this one. It was simply a banner that came in the ephemera pack and I didn't think it needed any further embellishing. So that's just going to go loose onto my chipboard on its own. Now I have done a project share video um, on my channel of these little bag toppers that I made using Marigold. Um, this is an In Love Art Shop die that I used and you guys would have seen me make um, bag toppers using this die many, many times before on my channel. I absolutely love it and it's the perfect design, the perfect amount of lace and cutout that just coordinates so well with Marigold. So everything you see here and here is purely marigold except for the jemmies. So that paper is a 12 by 12 for marigold and so is that beautiful pink polka dot paper as well behind that. They're quite layered um, but flat enough for me to put onto this um, chip, uh, chipboard, clipboard project. I reused the packaging from Marigold which held the four clothespins. All I did was, um, well I used up the clothespin on a previous project. So um, I just put some foam tape behind those bag toppers and stuck it down. And I think that packaging just looks so cute. So that's that. Moving on to this one here. Now I actually made three little tags or you can use them as journaling spots but if I was to put them all onto the chip onto the clipboard then we'd all have we'd have like a whole bunch of like clusters at the top and it won't be evenly spread out so what I decided to do was grab one of my Becky Higgins um, pocket pages this is design three I trimmed off the bottom which was just one four by six pocket kept the top turned it portrait and in it, all it's like all the pocket page is doing is holding these little like embellishments that I have um, decorated. So here is just a two cards, three cardstock stickers, the heart, the flower, and the simply the best ribbon banner. And all I did was stick it onto or sew it down 
onto um, another piece from that same 12 by 12 cut apart sheet from Marigold. And it just fits perfectly into the pocket. It just slides in there like so. And my pen pal can just pull it up and add it to her uh, junk journal or pocket letter or whatever she wants to use or he wants to use in her project. I just realized I don't have any male pen pals. <laughs> and these top two pieces are also from the same cut apart sheet. And this one is so pretty. This top one here, which I'm having a little bit of trouble just taking out. So perhaps I'll trim that down a little more. All I did was grab a beautiful floral sticker from Marigold and did a vertical stitch down and punched a hole at the top of that tag. This one's got a little thread that I can pull out. <laughs> this one says best day and everything once again is from Marigold. So these three pieces are from again the same 12 by 12 cut apart sheet. So you get a lot of journaling, uh, journaling spots out of just that one 12 by 12 cut apart super easy super cute and now they just display so perfectly in a little pocket page and you'll see how i'm going to put that on my um on my uh, clipboard and it's nice and flat then all i did was grab um a little section from the sticker roll the sticker roll that comes with the marigold in the marigold collection so you get two rolls in one packet one roll has all these animals and peaches and your beautiful fruits. And the other roll is just different like stamp stickers. So I grabbed the one with all the animals in it, tore it off, gave it sort of like a really, gives it like a really vintage sort of thrown together appeal to it. And that'll go in, go onto the uh, clipboard as well. And then lastly, I hadn't used up any more Marigold packaging. So I grabbed an all heart one as well. I used my last, pink frame from that packet of all heart and then used it just to repackage my um my marigold projects here so yet another piece from the 12 by 12 cut apart this is like a like a little postcard design and um there's these three domino stickers from the marigold sticker sheet and as is that thankful for for you you get a lot of stickers in this sticker sheet guys so you'll be able to make many many projects with it and then i added that little brown house from the puffy stickers uh the marigold puffy sticker collection so i thought that was really really cute And then my second waterfall um, is here. This just has, it just fitted this second cut apart also from that cut apart sheet perfectly into that packaging. And this pink, once again, also from the same 12 by 12 sheet and it has that beautiful floral design on it and the black and the pink just works so well together. Also backed onto some thick cardstock there for a little bit more sturdiness. Then I have this gorgeous gold acetate, which is part of a 12 by 12 specialty acetate that comes with the Gather collection and Older Maggie Holmes collection. And I thought the gold, the acetate, just layered so well onto this particular embellishment. Didn't do any sticking, any adhesion. All I did was just sew a straight line across the top once again with that beautiful pink thread. And I have that cottage house from the Marigold sticker sheet as well. So you can write your little message there and stick this in your junk journal. It's perfect. And that beautiful apple is from the chipboards. I am in love with the Marigold chipboard sheet. It is absolutely stunning. You get a beautiful typewriter. Um, there's some beautiful fawn. You've got the beautiful fawn in it. Lots of little bumblebees, hearts fruits it's very pink very very pretty so i really like how this embellishment turned out so i'm just going to put it back where it belongs try and hang on to your maggie homes and crepe paper packaging guys because they are a great way to gift your um, little embellishments to your pen pals i do that a lot now there's the marigold and there's the all heart okay so let's assemble this <clears throat> so what I'm just going to do is probably grab my largest piece, um, but I don't want to start with a pocket page because otherwise it'll sort of slip 
on and off at the bottom. I want to grab something that's a cardstock, so I will probably put this one down first. I did have a bit of a trial and error before this video to see how it all comes together, but you would I would probably put that down first. Just going to get that back into frame for you. And then you can feel free to add your pocket page as your next one. And it won't slip around so much anymore because it's got a little bit of friction against that cardstock now. And do it your way. You know, you don't, there is no like hard and fast rule about putting so, putting something together on your clipboard. You don't have to put ribbon on it. If you don't have to, you don't have to dang, dangle a dangly charm off it at all. But um, I just really like how it looks with everything put together. Now, because I've got the pocket page down, I want to lay a cardstock next. So let's grab this one here. Just going to slide that in. And I'm kind of like making sure that I use all the real estate on my chipboard. Some on the left, some on the right, some in the middle. Then I can probably add this little all heart packaging here. Then the, how about we add the, the sticker sheet next? Okay, followed by the marigold packaging. My bag toppers are so pretty. And then I'm going to see if I can just slide that underneath here. That adds a lot of sort of interesting shapes to it. Instead of a straight up and down, you've got now like a little wavy design. And then I really wanted this to go on the top because it's such a pretty color. So a little bit of readjustment because everything kind of moves around. And you probably don't want to go any thicker than that. Otherwise, what you'll end up having is like a really, really fat bottom and a really pinched top and everything will just end up having folds in it, which is not what you want. So if I can just move that dangly charm a bit further down, that's basically it. I love how the project turned out. I love all the fun and pretty things that you can add to this. And what I really love about it, which is what I've done, is once your pen pal receives all their goodies, they can grab that clipboard and send it on. I'm probably going to send this one back to Alicia so that she can then make her own mail and send it back to me on the clipboard if she wants, or she can just keep this if she would like. Um, she can, if she wants to, gingerly peel that shaker um, piece off and create her own if she would like. So that's it, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, all the products you see in front of me here are available at the Sassy Scrappers store. Do check it out. They ship internationally. You will be supporting a wonderful Australian small business. You won't regret it. Regret it. Olga is the most lovely person. And I am looking forward to seeing your projects on Instagram, your marigold projects. So make sure you tag me. I'm over at Instagram at Paper Milkshake. And be sure to tag Sassy Scrappers as well so she can share in all the fun of your projects. See you all in my next video. Bye guys.